Thanks Carl for coming. Uh, we're just looking at redesigning this wheel scraper down here to fit a nozzle body. Uh, we want to open up this slot here uh, to make it a bit wider to take the nozzle. Sure thing, right? Yeah, I'll uh, sketch that up and get stuck into it straight away. I work for a 3D mechanical design company which does designs, drafting and project management for the development of new machinery using 3D modelling software. Morning Terry, how are you doing today mate? Morning Carl, doing that multi stream today? Yeah sure thing, uh, I'll get onto it straight away. Thanks. I can build a virtual machine in the computer and test whether it works, which is a lot cheaper than constructing a real prototype, only to find out it doesn't do its job properly. Some concept designs can be tricky. The client has to approve every stage of the design. As you can see, the difference between the part here and on what's on the screen, we've uh, moved the whole 10 millimetres towards the uh, end. I uh, just want to make sure that that's OK for, what, for your needs. Yes, Carl, I think uh, from what you're showing me, it uh, really does look tremendous. Apart from common nuts and bolts, all the components have to be custom built in the computer. I didn't know this job existed when I was younger. I always liked bikes and cars, anything with moving parts. I completed an apprenticeship and worked as a mechanical fitter in the mining industry for eight years. Cat Developments, Terry Preston speaking. I wanted new challenges, so I started an engineering diploma at TAFE and started work here a few months into my study. My boss Terry also used to be a machinist. I really enjoy creating ideas and developing them with colleagues and clients. Still, my mechanical skills gave me a lot of respect in the manufacturing industry because I'm aware of common problems which can occur out in the field and aim to avoid those design faults in my own work. Time to run some tests. The computer can simulate all sorts of working conditions, taking into account the strengths of materials and likely stress points. Any problems show up fairly quickly. Luckily, it's only a matter of hitting delete. Keeping up to date with software and standards is important. Carl, can you change these drawings? The wheel sizes have changed. Yeah, sure thing, Terry. Uh, when do you want them by, mate? Monday, thanks. OK. All this information is presented in an international format so that anyone in the world can build or repair their machine. The data can be downloaded into a manufacturing machine that will automatically cut out the parts exactly like the computer model. Being based in a rural area, I design a lot of farming equipment, such as fertiliser spreaders, water purifiers, bale stackers and mining equipment. But the internet and universality of software allows ease of communication with our metro and international clients. I'm currently completing an advanced diploma, learning about fluid mechanics, thermodynamics and project management. Eventually, I'd like to work overseas. My dream job? Designing motorbikes.